Meserol on the inside, Wyndham on the outside, and it's time to cowboy up here at Lawrenceburg Speedway. We're a green flag here, Wyndham quickly closes the door on the pole center, Tinez. Wyndham to the top spot. Now Tinez is in trouble, he's gonna lose a couple more spots it looks like on the outside. Here they come off the turn number four. Chris Wyndham looks like he's gonna lead lap number one. That's Logan Seavey going to work on the high side here. Tom Malloy's driver out of Sutter, California gets shot out of a cannon down the back straightaway. Moves Seavey to the point. Wyndham's gonna go to work back down on the inside. Tinez continues to work the top. You got a pair of West Coasters trying to ride the wave up high, but Wyndham shuts Tinez up. Tinez says, that's all right, I'll go right back down down low, Mezzerol up to second. Justin Grant and Buddy Kofoid are trading sliders back there around the four spot. Here goes Wyndham back to the inside of Tinez, retaking the second spot. Here comes crossover move for the 7X of Tinez. Everybody chasing Logan CD. The 47 BC of Corey Day, your Fat Ants Eyewear Quick Time Award winner, was making moves there just about a lap ago. He slipped back about three spots. Logan Seavey comes down to complete lap, another lap. There's Wyndham, there's Mesrol. Good fight right there between your national championship point there. Mesrol goes for a ride over in one and two. Oh, and KTJ is going to tag him at the very end there. Red flag on the speedway. Back and forth, back and forth. Michael Buddy, go for it. Your Indiana Midget Week point leader sits right there in that white and blue car in the fourth position. He's starting to reel in Big Daddy. Chris Wyndham, this is a two-car race for second. It's about to become a three-car race. Absolutely, Buddy Kofoid just waiting for either Wyndham or Grant to make any sort of move. But right now, Grant and Wyndham are really putting on a heck of a show. And it looks like Wyndham retaking the second spot right now for the time. Kofoid could not even try to make a move. They're passing around the fifth spot. Here goes Kofoid, though, looking to the inside. He slides up in front of Kofoid, or excuse me, slides up in front of CB. CB back to the top spot. Kofoid throws a big bomb because that's what Michael Buddy Kofoid does, but Logan CB will not be denied here tonight at Lawrenceburg Speedway. Five laps to go, this time by, CV stays perfect. I got a little excited there on that last lap because nobody had been able to do that to Logan CV. But Logan CV said, ah, I just tried you out a little bit there. And he retook the top spot and he is pulling away. One car slowing here on the front stretch. Looks like the one NZ of Hayden Williams is slowing. Heartbreak for the driver from Auckland, New Zealand. Meanwhile, the driver from Sutter, California has four trips around the 3 8 mile. Big banks of Lawrenceburg Speedway left to be perfect. He makes his way down through three out of four. Three laps remain here in this one. Chad CV driving away from Michael Buddy Kofoid. Buddy Kofoid is trying to mount up one last challenge right now, though. It doesn't seem to be going the right direction. Chris Wyndham still running third. Justin Graham back there in fourth. They come off a of turn number four. 28 laps complete. They see the sticks. Two laps to go here. Last time by Michael Buddy Kofoid. Seven tenths of a second behind Logan CV. Chris Wyndham is there in third. I'm not sure if he's close enough to make anything happen. Kofoid takes one more look down on the inside of three and four, but the white flag will wave here. And I don't know if anybody's got anything for Logan Seavey. They haven't had anything for him all night. He had heartbreak happen to him back at Kokomo at the T-Town Midget Showdown. The car fell apart after a red flag. It won't fall apart. It'll stay perfect. Seavey wins night number three of Indiana Midget Week here at the Burr.